Ready to go see Grandma, buddy? Hey, bro. Jeez. Thomas, you scared me to death and you startled Enoch, man. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry, little Wrangler. Heck of a homecoming, huh, bro? Yeah. Mom. You think you got the old thing running? Uh, no telling, but uh, no, no. he's pretty close last time I, I, was, I was over. Yeah, it looks like this thing's on its last leg, though. All right. Sexy, ain't it? <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's uh, let's go see Grandma. Yeah, Grandma. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, Mom. How are you? Hey. Where are you going? You going to go play? Hang on, hang on. Stay down. Oh, Enid, you're getting big. Uh, it's, it's Enoch. Oh, you know I can't remember that Old Testament crap. Well, yeah, he is, uh, he is a lot bigger since he last saw him at birth. So, he's grown a bit. Come on, let me see you together again. All right. Good to see you. So the real question is, did he ever get that old jalopy running? Yes, he did. He was so proud. Story goes, I was conceived in the back of it. <laughs> it's not even the same car. Same diff. Come on, man. You don't have to inhale it. Here's a knife. Take, take Let him eat. He's hungry. He's a big boy. Yeah. Bigger than you, little brother. You hear that? He always was bigger than you. No. Yeah, I forgot. It's always Thomas is great. The ladies from my Sunday school class have a schedule as to who brings which casseroles on which days. Huh. Looks like they overbooked. <laughs> well, I made a few myself. Somehow I felt left out. Is this at your church day? Uh, Davey's taking a little bit of a leave of absence. I'm on sabbatical. I'm writing a book. So, uh, should I put my stuff in the guest room? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, of course, son. Wait, Enoch and I are in the guest room. Oh, Thomas needs the guest room. He, he needs his privacy in case one of his patients calls. You're not staying at your place? Well, no. I, I, I'm going to stay over here and help out while, you know, well, well, Where's Rachel? She is staying at our house uh, while, while I'm staying over here. Where am I supposed to stay? I don't know, man. The couch? I am not going to stay on the couch. I'm bigger than you. That couch is too small. Why are you? You can no, stay on the couch. No, no, no. Thomas will sleep in the guest room. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. I don't want to hear another word about it. Good to see you, Thomas. Enoch? It's good to see you, Ma. Glad you're here, Thomas.
Just send me one. Put on my lab coat. You know, the one that says uh, Dr. Bad Boy. Leave it open. Hey, hey, hey. Who is that? Let, let me call you back. must have sent it to him. I guess they didn't tell him that uh, the bad boy doctors of Buffalo got uh, canceled or never picked up, whatever you call it in the industry. Oh, you're right. Such a badass name, too. What are you doing with these pills? Oh, now you're going to doctor me? You know, this is going to get out of hand. Yeah, I know. I've, I've had some panic attacks, all right? Have you talked to a therapist? Well, no, I haven't, Dr. Bad Boy. What's going on with you and Rachel? And we're just taking a break, you know? Mm. With these? Who's that on the phone? Nobody. Nobody? Is that one of your nurses? You get a new one each month? Oh, jeez. Y'all up there, like, with your hospital gowns, having a lot of fun, using a lot of, like, tongue depressors? <laughs> oh, shut up. Well, who was it on the phone? It's nobody. It's the girl I'm seeing. Oh, girl you're seeing? Is she married like the last two were? She is, isn't she? I mean, come on, Thomas, you didn't learn her lesson with the last one when her husband beat your windshield in with a nine iron? You got this, you, you lost your medical license over that. No, what shit happens? Like, what do you want? I, huh? I just, it's just for fun. No? You know, these women, you know, they don't want to play doctor, you know? Yeah, but, but that's it. There's always an expiration date, all right? And I get bored easy. And like you said, I'm on suspension. Yeah. Well, who was on the phone then? <clears throat> Just Rachel, all right? Just talking to Rachel. Vanessa. <clears throat> How'd you boys sleep? Great. What's for breakfast? Well, I figured you could just eat some of those casseroles. 
They've been out all night. It's fine, turd. Is Enoch still asleep? Um. Here, since I owe you one, eat up. Pick it up. No. Pick it up. Now why don't you pick it up? Just like you pick up your nurses and your uh, patient girlfriends. Oh, 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 this is driving you crazy. Think about all that tail I'm pulling up north, huh? You, you are so gross, man. Like, you're, you're sick. You need help, man. <laughs> you just can't stop thinking about these women coming to my office. Oh, checkups. Mm -hmm. They are married, Thomas. Sure. Married women. Better for me that way. Oh my God, you, you, you're, you're disgusting. Boy. You're an accomplice to adultery. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're breaking the seventh commandment. Well, at least I can keep a woman. Unlike you and your little uh, preacher's wife. All right, you need to stop. Boys. See, that's it, right? You can't keep a wife, you can't keep a church, and now you're taking it out on me. I, I, I'm on sabbatical. Oh, Thomas. sabbatical my ass. The church made you leave because you were flirting around with that member. Boys. 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 Enid! Go, little bro. 